Did I just crash the game from all my alt tabbing? So despite the fact that I already own this game, I am buying it again, because I do not want to deal with the five discs that this game comes with. So the plot of this game is that you landed on an alien planet, but there's no one there, so you have to figure out where everyone went. This game came out in 2001. It also has a sequel, Schism 2, but Schism 2 dropped the pre-rendered graphics, and it makes it look a whole lot worse, unfortunately. There's also apparently a Schism 3, which just came out. You actually get to play as two different characters in this game. There's a theme to all of the puzzles, so it's about trying to understand machinery that you have no idea how it works, and symbols that you've never seen before. Like these symbols. What do these mean? What is this thing? What does it mean? What does it do? Can I ride in the sci-fi car? Let's go. Why do we have a fade? I mean, like, I, I get, you know, it's a long ride, but why not just make it so you can press the spacebar to skip it? I mean, atmosphere is everything. This is the first absolutely impossible puzzle in the game. You press some buttons, some stuff moves, you don't know what you're looking at, gas can be used and that's two times stronger than the other gases in the collector that actually seemed to give you some instruction and some idea it's still pretty vague as to what that actually means oh hey get down to bosch hmm maybe i should have turned on subtitles get down to bosch you must get down to bosch okay it was a nonsense word Okay, the way this works is one of the pumps gives two units of air, while all the other ones give one, but it changes every time. You've got a testing phase where you can pump up as many times as you want, but then after that you've got one chance to guess. And in order to solve the puzzle, you have to guess twice in a row correctly. So either A, accept the 1% odds and try it over and over and over again, or B, come up with a clever way to test the pumps. So press each pump a different number of times, and then you can figure out which pump is the odd one out because the total sum will be different, but also remember to convert it to base 12. Yeah, so basically all the puzzles in the game are like that. So if your idea of fun is solving brutally hard, poorly explained base conversion puzzles, you have definitely came to the right game series. Oh well. These environments look so good. <laughs> low poly plastic like CG now looks really cool to me. But specifically because it's all like pre-rendered. You know, atmosphere wise, music wise, puzzle wise, like I mean this is feeling really cool. Seriously, that water looks really good. Elevators, machinery, this is just like so mist-like. Yeah, I mean this is a lot more mist-like in design than Return to Zork in Eastern Mind. A lot more exploration based, very few items. What, what is this knocker? This knocker is not making any sound. That doesn't seem like an effective knocker. Is this like a plumbus doorbell? Okay, does the game really have to pause every time they want to show a stupid flying thing? I mean, what temple has a monorail going through it? I mean, they're aliens, you know. I mean, maybe they turn their religious services into like an amusement park ride. Ride the train through the temple, give you some prayer beads. You know, it keeps things moving, keeps things automated. Hey, this guy doesn't look very alien, but I guess they really like bees. Maybe the lore is like bees developed space travel and colonized an alien planet, but then through colonialism brought Confucianism to the alien species. I think this is the alien trigonometry puzzle. Well, at least it's, you know, telling you that it's trigonometry. And to be fair, I don't even think it's sines and cosines. I think it's just similar triangles, so it's not that bad. Why do they have a different numbering system for solving geometry? Okay, yeah, and then, yeah, so you have to, like, measure the tower height. But what is plus doing? Oh boy, what is this? Okay, maybe this puzzle is harder than I thought. Like, maybe when you're surveying something, this is telling you the distance. So we can say 4 divided by 10 is equal to x over 45. As soon as I move this to 21, it better work. Mm. Oh, you know what? I think I actually got all of them wrong. It's the whole distance. It's got to be 55 here. Please just open, please. Yes. All right, cool. A place. Let's put in the coordinates that I just got. 
Do, are we in the middle of, the, of an ocean? Because that didn't give us a new coordinate. Then how could it be wrong? Unless the puzzle is based on the whole don't use the old pair of coordinates. So let me just try to write this out as a base 12 number. Here's the changes on this one. A19 minus 17. And we get A02. 1002. And does it function? Please, 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 please. Oh, that looks new. Thanks the gods. Wait, but I can't dock though. So was this all pointless? There's a telescope over here, so maybe that'll help. Yeah, all right, cool, telescope. Oh, these different lenses. Is this like a binary puzzle or something? Oh, there we go, it's coming into focus. But it's just not clear what's worth what. So I'm kind of just trial and erroring this. Almost there, I think this should be it. And we did it. Oh God, what is this, like Morse code? <sighs> what's five plus three plus one? plus three. Um, is that 10? Yeah, that's 10. Ah, a dude. You don't know what you're doing! Dot, 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 that's 12. Did I do math wrong? Five plus three. Eh. Okay, that was the docking code. Why didn't that do anything? Yes, you must use your signaling lamp to produce a negative sequence of the one in the harbor. A negative sequence. Well, thanks for telling me that. Okay, but what does it mean by negative? Does this mean I need to convert it into binary? Dash dot dot dot. 3,976. Let's multiply that by negative 1. And we get 1111, You know what? I bet she just means put the sequence in reverse. Oh, okay. What you meant was inverted. Oh my god, the plumbus works! I am to offer you precious oil. Okay, I've been literally wandering around for hours. I am super stuck. This blimp doesn't take off anymore, right? You try to push the button and it just does this. And I don't know what that means. This is my last thing I'm doing before going to a guide. Um, I'm bringing both characters to the ship. It literally took me over 15 minutes to walk over here. So, wait, what's this yellow line? Where's this go? Don't tell me that, like... I redirected the hydraulics from my blimp to this door, and that's why the blimp wasn't taking off. Are you freaking kidding me? That's the frick- At least the button was attached to a pipe. Nine pearls. Make the long journey back. So I discovered you can actually alt-tab out of the game to skip cutscenes, but it still takes forever to get around because it's only faster for longer transitions. Okay, well, there's nine pearls, so I'll hit nine, get the oil and bring it to the temple. Well, it only takes about forever to get back there. How oh, good a person appeared. That means I'm on the right track. Or, or does it? Why would they appear here? Wait a minute. Yeah, see, what they're trying to communicate is maybe you need one more pearl. Why would I go back to where I just came from? Because it takes about 10 minutes to get there because this guy told me some cryptic thing that I barely could understand. Now go to the elevator. The pearl is there. Oh really, you're just continuing to jerk me around. Back we go to which elevator? There's like a whole bunch. Oh, okay. How do I get it? Oh, this is a two-person puzzle, isn't it? Oh my god, I've got more freaking dragging people around. You can see how long it takes. It took six minutes from here to here, then seven minutes from here to here. That only took another eight minutes. We're finally gonna get something to happen. Oh, it's a disc. That's a new place for the balloon. Uh, it's been forever since I went to a new area. Hey, this isn't even a new area. So the whole point of that puzzle in the end was just so that you could perch the balloon in this area. Great, am I stuck again? Maybe if I move the ship, there'll be something behind it. That doesn't look like it. No, there's not much here. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, a code. All right, what's this do? So the giant egg opens up. We grab the circular thing inside. The circular thing is dropped inside of the island. Okay, cool, we um delivered a bomb or something. I don't know. So what is this thing? Wait, where'd it go? We definitely lowered a bomb in here. I definitely remember that happening. Why is every single step of this endgame just been extremely painful? 
every step I've been getting stuck. I am literally so close to winning this game, so there's no way I'm going to a walkthrough at this point. Bring Sam and Hannah to the floating island and up to the main console. When both of them are at the main console, a man appears. What the freaking arbitrary garbage. I literally had both these characters on the island before. But no, they can't just be on the island. They both have to be at the main console. But yes, I know the British man said, stick together, you two. But it's not just stay in the same spot together. It's stay in the same spot in this specific place together. Like up until this last barrage of arbitrary nonsense, I was really liking this game. But just the complete lack of feedback this game gives you. Yeah, look at this crap. Oh, and now a tentacle appears. Couldn't it just be that they were both on the living island? Like, did it have to be that they were both in the same spot on the living island? The planet was never deserted at all. They were here all along. They've come out of hiding. Okay, so what was the mystery of that game? Like, this planet is deserted, where is everyone? And the real answer at the end of the game is that it was never deserted, they just were hiding. Great mystery. 